Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com Today in this lecture I will show you how you can generate the HTML report from Postman. So in the last lecture we already discussed right how to execute the test from the CLI. So now I am just going to show you how you can generate the HTML report from Postman. So guys for this we just need to use a, you know a new module called newman reporter html so in the last section we already installed the new man right which was able to which was actually helping us to run the collection from cli so in the same way we are just going to run our collection it is just we need to mention one more attribute called hyphen r which is nothing but report and we just need to mention html it will generate the html report for us so let's go ahead and use the same so first of all guys there's no option to generate HTML report from postman so we have to take the help of newman that we already did in the last video so in case if you haven't watched that video i will link in the description okay just go ahead and watch how to use newman it's very interesting so in order to run this let's say i just want to execute these two and i want the report in html format so i will quickly export this the moment I export, I will I will replace with with whatever values we have. Now, let me first of all clear this. Now let's install this particular module. Okay, so just copy paste. So install hyphen g means global and module name is Newman Reporter HTML, and you can say the version is 1.0.5 now we need just one file okay which is nothing but which uh, collection that you want to execute so this is what the collection we have right now so i will take this one which we exported just now okay few seconds back so i will just use this first of all i will say new man run maybe i will clear this yeah new man run i will just drag and drop this uh, collection that I want to run hyphen in case if you have any environment variable global variables then use hyphen E followed by JSON if you have global variables use hyphen G followed by global variables as of now we don't have in this collection I will simply say R and HTML so as per the documentation we just need to mention hyphen R HTML and hit enter it should execute our complete collection and it should generate the report okay so right now you can see it's not showing anything on the console but it should have now html files ready now how do i find so it is going to actually put all your report under this directory can you see this c drive users users so i will go back here i'm already here guys so just go to c drives users user and now you have to search for a folder name called new man okay and you can see we got the report and the moment you open this report it's coming properly okay so this is the overall section case which says the collection name which was covid19 tracker total time exported now this is the main details guys how many times you executed so one iteration two request two is test script and two assertions now it will show you individual report of each and every request that you executed so we actually had two requests so this was the first request and it is just giving you the description of that request what was the url total number of past test so it was only one total status code yeah so same thing for another request exactly same thing description method total number of pass fail and status code let me do one more thing let's this time i want to run two times so i will say hyphen n which is number of times let me put three iterations okay so it will take few seconds depends on what kind of apis you are running and this time we should have a new report and yes we have this one now so you can see now total number of iteration is three request is six test scripts is six assertion six because we executed thrice and these are the requests right so 
it's very easy and now you can use the same thing in your CLI as well it's a very quick video but very interesting and very useful so I hope you will enjoy this feature and if you really like this video then go ahead and subscribe my channel and in case if you have any other question feel free to ask me in the comment section and uh, I will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye